Hey there! In this video you will get to know Sanne van Dijke. She's an under 70 kilogram judoka from the Netherlands and is competing against Kim Pauling for the Olympics. And while this video is structured a bit differently than the interviews I did before, I still hope you enjoy getting to know her a bit through the interview and um, have fun! explain why I'm recording myself instead of us having a conversation because we don't want people missing out on that fabulous story of course. We're having the interview in Papenal and then after 15 minutes Diana found out that she forgot to put on the microphone so we lost half the interview and due to coronavirus now we can't meet up again so that's why we had to be a bit creative Well, um, I wouldn't know what the best one is to be honest, but um, I do have a lot of good ones from juniors and cadets and under 15 years because back then you had a lot of tournaments with your like close friends, so I really did enjoy that time. Of course, I still I do still enjoy it now, but it's a bit more. Um, pressure and uh, more professional of course but therefore sometimes a little bit less fun. Uh, one of the great memories I do have of course is uh, when I became European champion in seniors. Um, it was a really good day all in all because it was really surprising. It's one of the biggest medals I've won. And my mom was there with a friend and two of my best friends were there as well to watch so you could celebrate straight after and yeah, it was just a really good day and I really enjoyed every, every bit of it. Transitioning to seniors <laughs> was awful. Um, I did not enjoy that at all. Um, in juniors I used to win pretty much everything. So coming into seniors, of course you don't expect to win everything straight away, but I def definitely did think I was gonna win matches within a competition day, maybe medals, but for the first two years I pretty much lost everything, first or second round, so that definitely cracked my ego. So no, I didn't think it was fun to make the transition from juniors to seniors at all. Um, I think the um, pressure hasn't changed that much. Like of course I'm one of the top players in my weight now and people know me and they know what I do but um, I think it's just a different pr pressure at every stage in your career. When I came through from juniors I had the pressure of um, proving myself and proving that I was worthy of getting tournaments in seniors and uh, the policy in the Netherlands back then was quite strict like if you didn't show that you, could, that you were on that level then they would put you back to a lower level. So. I went into every tournament with that pressure as well and now that's of course not the pressure I have but now I have different pressure on me and probably in two years I have again different pressure on me hopefully a gold or a red back patch that give me give me a different pressure so I think the pressure doesn't get more or it doesn't get less but it just gets different so that's my view on it. I think um, within judo, my mentality is probably one of my biggest strengths. Um, when I go on the mat, I really truly believe that I'm going to win it. Um, <laughs> even worse, I probably... It sounds quite arrogant, I think, but uh, I always think when I go on the mat and I see the other one is also there, which is quite normal that they are also there, I think it's a bit insulting that they step on the mat, because I think what do you think you're gonna do? Are you gonna? Do you really think you can win this, or why do you even step on the mat? 
So it's a bit of a weird way of thinking about it, but yeah, it's what I think and what it's what I believe, and then that's probably what shows on the mat as well. I'm quite an open book on on Instagram and Facebook, I think. Um, but for me, there's not a lot like a big thought behind it. It's um, just how I feel. And for me, it's really hard to, for instance, broadcast the message that I feel really motivated and extremely um, empowered by a loss to get back to work, which is absolutely the last thing that I feel when I've just lost the competition. So for me, it wouldn't feel fair to, to broadcast that into the world. I do think, of course, I have a bit of a bigger reach than um, most other people. So. Yeah, I do think it's important to use it in the right way and therefore showing um, that people have to take their responsibility about certain matters and that it's okay to not feel okay all the time is of course, I think, an important message to send. But it's not really that thought behind it when I, when I broadcast it, to be honest. I don't do everything right either, don't get me wrong, but I try to see where I can make it a little bit more. Yeah. No. I'm also not the person that is Training, 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 training. I'm also the person that likes to joke around and make fun, so... Yeah, when I told friends that I uh, talked to you, she, uh, they were like, oh, she is a bit crazy in a fun way, <laughs> but uh, she's very nice. <laughs> How do you explain that? <laughs> I can understand that they think that, yeah. I think also a lot of people that only know me from the judo maybe think I'm not so nice, because on the mat I'm not always joking and stuff, but outside I'm really... Kind, <laughs> please believe me. <laughs> but I think that's the thing in judo. You go on the mat, you fight, and sometimes it gets a bit uh, more heated. rough. Yeah, yeah. Heated. <laughs> and then you come off the mat, and it's okay. That's the thing. For me, it's a battle on the mat is not the same as a battle off the mat. It's yeah. completely different worlds for me. So, no, I heard this as well. Um, that people don't really like to fight the Dutch, the, the Dutch because we are always like fighting like we are in a competition instead of trying new things and stuff. So I do really try to um, don't do it myself so much anymore and not uh, do the physicality all the time but also try new things. But sometimes people are too quick and too, too good and then I think, well, I need to throw you now. So <laughs> I am going to do my normal thing, but... It's because you are too good, so you should see it as a compliment if I do this. <laughs> it's also the way I, li I like to joke and talk to people and everything uh, off the mat, but on the mat I want to kill you. So <laughs> that's also the mentality I expect from other people. Yeah. And if they don't want to kill me, then I feel like a bit like an insulting, like, what, are you playing with me? Are you so much better that you don't even have to try? <laughs> so yeah, that's maybe why I'm yeah. always like this. Uh, what do you feel about Olympic flag? How do you do you think about them? Like I do, of course. Yeah, I want to be uh, at my best at the Olympics, and I'm working towards that. Although I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna go, I just work towards it, like I'm gonna go, and also everything else is planned around it. Um, and then, yeah, I just assume that I go, and if, if I don't go, then I. I can change it again, but for now it's it's just with a red circle on my agenda and yeah, just work it towards it like it's already sure that I'm gonna go. I cannot change what they decide in the end, so I can only do my part and that's making sure that if I go I'm at my best, yeah. so I can get that medal and that's all I focus on. Do you do anything besides judo? Yeah, um, I study to be a teacher in politics, okay. yeah, so... Um, I do that. What I really enjoy about playing golf, I've always played golf with my dad, so it's a bit of quality time and there's no pressure, there's no, I don't have to dig deep, there's no one shouting at me, there's no one thinking, oh, I need to throw or anything. No, it's just fun. Yeah. And that's, of course, very different um, mindset than when I train in judo. Yeah. So it is nice, but I wouldn't want to do that on a daily basis, no. <laughs> but it's better paid, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you're good in it, yeah. <laughs> right now it doesn't pay so well for me. <laughs> it is important that people uh, stay active. It's a lot healthier, of course. And fun. And fun, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Also, you meet so much people. I mean, now I met you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it is true. Yeah. No, it is, um, if I see now 
of course, I have my friends from my hometown, but um, apart from that, all my friends are from Judo. Yeah. And uh, yeah, even my girlfriend, so I wouldn't have met her if it wasn't for Judo, so. <laughs> win win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for her. <laughs> yeah, sure. Do you think about the possibility where she is obviously going? Yeah. And do you want to go? To watch or uh, it depends on what the federation here wants. I don't know. Last time in Rio, they brought um, training the, the people that qualified but didn't go went as training partners. Oh, okay. But I don't know if they do that this year again, honestly. So if I wouldn't go, I don't know uh, if the federation would bring me or not. Uh, no, Natalie knows that I want her to win it and um, I want us to win it both, but if it isn't for me, that wouldn't take anything away from her. And I also said that if I'm not going to go, I will definitely come down to prepare her and whatever she needs. So but she knows that. Would be a legendary situation if you both win. It would be, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. I w yeah, that would be really cool. So it is something I think about sometimes. But yeah. <laughs> we just uh, focus on that. Yeah. <laughs> the situation. Yeah, that would be best. Yeah. Ideal situation.